Hi and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this table report here. So that's basically the uh, promotions data table here. And then we just added the sales contribution column. And this sales contribution is the impact of the promo on a specific uh, promo period. So we have the data here. We get the increase or decrease in sales, for instance, on Feb 1, we compare it with January 1. And then uh, if we get increase, then that should be the impact of the promotions uh, on that period. If there is a decrease, like uh, for instance here, in uh, Feb uh, 6 and 7, that's a decrease in sales. That means the promo has no impact on that date or there is no promotion on that date. So that's it. We're going to get the uh, sales contribution of the promo based on the promo period. So we're going to do that in another uh, workbook. So let's do it here. Let's load these two tables. So first is the uh, sales. So select any of your data. Go to uh, data tab. From table range, OK. And then rename it as the sales and create a connection. Go to the home tab, close and load to only create connection. OK. Now the second one, the promotions table, so the kind of your data again, go to data tab from table range. OK. And then also rename it as promotions and then here uh, let's change the type of the date so remove the time here in the formula bar both for start and end that's it now i'm going to duplicate the sales table right click and duplicate and rename it as sales ref uh, as in reference then again uh, let's fix the date remove the time in the formula bar that's it I'm going to add uh, a column here calling the promotions table. So let's add a column, custom column, and then just call promotions. Enter. That's it. Just combine the table here. And then I'm going to expand it. Uncheck the prefix. Okay. And okay, that's it. Now I'm going to add column and create an if statement. So basically, I just wanted to check if the date here is within the promo period start and end and also if the sales is an increase if there is a decrease in sales that should be ignored so i'm gonna add column custom column and then i'm, I'm gonna write if statement and i'm gonna say that if the date column is greater than or equal to the start and also the date column is less than or equal to the end and another end if the sales increase or decrease is greater than zero, that means if there is an increase, then retain the promotions column, else null. Okay, that's it. Now I'm going to remove the null values. That means there's no promo on that day. Okay, so that's it. Now here, next step is to group this data. So I'm going to choose the date column, transform, group by, choose all rows. Okay. That's it. We have a table here. The purpose of this is just to count the promo per day. So here there's one promo, one promo, there's two promos, two, and so on. I'm going to duplicate this count column, right click, and then duplicate. And then here, I'm going to choose the double arrow aggregate and then count of promotions okay so that's it there is one there's two there's also three promotions per day so that's it now i'm going to expand the count column so go to the expand button and then just retain the increase or decrease in sales and also the promotions okay that's it and then let's add the final column here and uh, get the sales contribution so basically the sales divided by the count of promotion so let's add column custom column and perform that increasing or decreasing sales divided by the count of promotions okay and that's it that's the uh, contribution per promo 
Let's rename this custom column into sales contribution for reference. And then, at this point, we're going to group it again. So, choose the promo. So, group it by promo. And then, uh, go to transform tab again. And then, group by. And again, all rows. Okay. And that's it. Now here, just get the sales contribution column. So expand that and choose aggregate. Let's get the sum of the sales contribution. And that's it. Okay. And there we have it. Total sales per promo, the impact of uh, the promo per period. And then I'm going to merge the two table. Merge where is this new. And then... Uh, let's say the first table, let's use the promotions and then choose the promotions column. And then I'm going to merge it with the sales ref also on the promotion. So left outer, that's an exact match. Okay. And then uh, let's check it. Let's expand the, uh, the column and choose the sum of sales contribution. Okay. And that's it. Let's just remove the sum off here. And basically, that's our report. Enter. And then rename it as, let's say, sales contribution. And then load it. Go to the home tab. Close and load to uh, only create connection first. And then right click the sales contribution. Load to in a table, existing worksheet. Put it here. Okay. Now let's fix it. Um, let's do some quick formatting. Okay. Now if we have another promo, say another promo name here, and then it runs from Feb 1 to Feb 28, the whole, the whole month, then go to the data tab and uh, refresh all. Okay, that's going to be added. Actually, we can also sort it out. So, let's go back to queries and connection and double-click the sales contribution. And in here, on the promotions column, we can choose sort ascending. That's it. And then, uh, close and load. Let's check it again. And that's it. Now, we have this uh, promo G and all other promotions are also updated. That's it. I'm finished here. I'm done. If you like this video, you can subscribe to my channel. Click the subscribe button and see you next time and thanks.